Hi, this is Adam, the Small Town Machine Shop. Got a little unboxing video for you today. Kind of look excited about this one. I've been looking forward to getting it. Now, a company did send me this. A company called GG. I think I'm pronouncing that right. This is a uh, docking bay light. I've been looking to upgrade the lighting here, and coincidentally, they wanted to send me something. Now, again, as always, I refused any other compensation. I did get this for free, though. And it came very well packed. I took all the foam out. There's a whole bunch of foam sheets in here. And I unwrapped this. This was in plastic. And what this is is a swivel arm light. So we've got a nice mounting pad there. you got these plastic bushings. And the cord goes through here. Then there's a LED light that goes on the end. And it's actually... All metal housing. That's all metal. It's got a safety cage on it. My initial glances, the build quality looks really nice. And so is the painting on it. There we go. There's the on button, I believe. Very heavy, very stout, which is good because these lights do generate some heat. But yeah, that's very robust. There's a cord for it. As you see, this arm will swivel and go up and down. And it'll also swivel on that base. So my idea for this is to mount it to... We'll mount it to the milling machine. Because then I could cover, like, three other machines with it. And, uh... That's kind of the way I want to go. The lighting in my shop really sucks. So I, I don't know if I mentioned that already. I really need to upgrade, but I really like lights on machines. I've been using those uh, articulated desk lamps for a few things. But it's time to step it up. So when they offered to send me this, I was excited to do it. So let me take it out of the box. Let me go mount it up and we'll give it like a real life demonstration. I'll bring you back. So as an example, this is the current light on the uh, Van Norman mill. It does okay. One of the problems is when you're using the mill, you're usually right underneath it. So it kind of blocks your uh, some of the light. So if I mount it here and cover this machine, now I'll be able to swing it to cover the drill press. And over here is the mill, the Comet mill. And also will light up just this general area. So let me get this light off and get this guy mounted and we'll go from there. Okay, we have mounted to the mill. I mounted it temporarily because I want to modify this bracket and get this, I'm gonna make, it, make this a little taller. But here we go. It's plugged in. There's the button. Nope, there we go. That is really bright. <laughs> Nice swinging, nice swing action. This all pivots this way. There we go. <clears throat> Pull this way. So you gotta get over here on the drill. Light up the back corner. <laughs> Very cool. And what I like too about this, let me turn it off for one second here. Is there's no this light is not light. It's got some heft to it, and there's no arm droop. I pulled that down. Pull it up. See, it just stays there. I had uh, one of these I bought off Amazon a couple years ago, and no matter what you did when the arm was out, this thing went. Whoop. This thing is nice and solid. Is the light anywhere we need it? Even the me the me the button is metal, which is cool. I mean, this thing is not cheaply made. Push it back here, Turn down here, so you can get the light anywhere you want it. Go all the way up the end. So very cool. That'd be a very handy addition to the shop, and I. 
I will probably be ordering some of these uh, to mount on the beams because most of my machines are centered around these beams. And yeah, I'm very, very impressed with the build quality and light production of this thing. I will mount it with U-bolts probably, but I'm gonna cut this off and raise it so it's a little taller. That way I can also use it more as an overhead lamp in this area, because this is gonna be like a general work area here in front of the mill. So yeah, the uh, dock light from Gigia gets a, the old thumbs up. I'd highly recommend it. Again, it's built very well. Plastic bushings and stuff. So yeah. Very cool. Very cool. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.